Let's understand the working of a screw gauge. The main parts of a screw gauge are stud, screw, frame, pitch scale, circular scale, thimble and ratchet. Aim to find the volume of a lead shot, a wire in an irregular lamina along with the thickness of a glass plate. Pitch of the screw gauge. Rotate the screw backward about four times and note the distance moved on the pitch scale. Number of full rotations given to the screw is equal to four. Distance moved by the screw is equal to four millimeters. Hence, pitch is equal to 4 mm divided by 4, which is equal to 1 mm. We can find the least count of the screw gauge by using the equation. Least count is of a screw gauge equals to pitch upon total number of divisions on the head scale. The screw is rotated forward till the tip just touches the stud. Note the zero coincidence of the circular scale with the zero of the pitch scale. Zero error is equal to plus three divisions. Zero correction is equal to minus three divisions, which is equal to minus 0.03 millimeters. Glass plate. Materials required. screw gauge and the glass plate. The screw is working backwards. The given glass plate is gripped between the tip of the screw and the stud by working the screw forward. Note the pitch scale reading and head scale reading. Tabulate the observations. Wire Materials required Screw gauge and wire The given wire is gently gripped between the stud and screw by working the screw forward. Note the pitch scale reading and the head scale reading. Move the screw backward and measure the length of the wire using a scale. Volume of the wire V is equal to pi into D by 2 the whole square into L. That is equal to 3.14 into 0 0.045 by 2 the whole square into 13 which is equal to 0 0.0207 cm cube. Lead shot. Materials required. Screw gauge and a lead shot. Unwind the screw and place the lead shot in between the screw and stud. Note its pitch scale reading and head scale reading. Record the observations in the tabular column. Volume of the lead shot V is equal to 4 by 3 pi into D by 2 the whole cube. This is equal to 4 by 3 into 3.14 into 0 0.329 by 2 the whole cube which is equal to 0 0.018636 cm cube. Irregular lamina Materials required Screw gauge, irregular lamina, pencil and graph paper. Take the screw gauge and irregular lamina. Grip the lamina in between the tip of the screw and stud by unwinding the screw and tightening it. Note its pitch scale reading and head scale reading. Tabulate your observations. 
the screw is working backward and takes out the irregular lamina. Place it over a graph paper. Make its outline with a sharp pencil and count the highlighted portion. Area of the irregular lamina A is equal to 100 into number of full squares plus 50 into number of half squares plus 25 into number of quarter squares plus 1 into millimeter squares. That is equal to 100 into 3 plus 50 into 3 plus 25 into 1 plus 1 into 3rd plus 30. That equals 505 millimeter squares. Volume of the irregular lamina V is equal to A into T. That is equal to 505 into 0 0.254 which is equal to 1282.7 millimeter cube which is 1282.7 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter cube which equals 1.283 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter cube.